Jack Carter, and you don't want to know me. Jack, I know it's just one guy talking, but I'll be honest with you, I don't understand what the big frickin' deal is. I don't. Listen, asshole, I told Fletcher I was gonna get him the money. You, you shut up! I mean, give me a break, will you, Jack? In all honesty, you haven't seen the guy in, what, four, five years? He kicks, and now all of a sudden you give a shit? Who are you, Father Mulcahy? I'm so not buying this, it's not even funny, Kimosabi. He's my brother, Connie. He's my little brother, and he's dead. And he left the wife and kid up there, so I'm going. I owe him that. Let me get this straight. Now you owe him? Here's the bad news, sports fans. It's a little late. Yeah, well, listen, the therapy session is good, you know? Yeah, because you need it, but why don't I just, like, go somewhere? I'm going to talk to fuck. You sit here, and you shut your mouth. Or this is going to the next level. You got that. <laughs> next level? What is that, a catchphrase or something? The f I mean... Catchphrase. Jack, 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 come on, take it easy, take it easy. I'm gonna give yourself a fucking heart attack. Now, Fletcher wants your ass here. He's made that very clear to you. He wants you right here. I'm like a broken freaking record, for God's sake. If you don't take care of business, the business will take care of you. The business will take care of you. The business will take care of you. I'm taking care of business. Whatever. What time's your flight, Jack? Not flying. Big pardon? Not flying, Connie. Uh-huh. So would you say you got a little something special work in there? What are you carrying there, Jack? Huh? Knives, guns, flamethrowers? You got something you're not telling Kanawana Duda Day about? I'm back in a couple of days. Right. But Jack.
the last time you saw him when you asked him if it happened. Days. I don't know, man. Maybe it's, I guess. But you would know if something was up, right? Shit, man. I don't know, I guess. Yeah, maybe. Jack, maybe no. that is enough. It's enough. me up. I don't like to be alone. Sure. I'm fine, all right? I just came out for a smoke. You know, Dorian, you don't know me very well, and what you do know, you, you don't seem to like very much. I don't want to be here over the weekend, so if you need anything, anything at all, I'll be staying at the Mercer Hotel, okay? He didn't drink, you know. What? My dad. He wouldn't drink and drive. What do you think happened? I don't know. Maybe... I, I don't know. Forget it. It's sad, right? What's it matter? My mom will be home later. What'd I tell you? Huh? What'd I say? Which part of... I can't let you go. Did you not understand? Jack, this is your job. This is not a frickin' charity case. You do your job. Now, I want your butt down here tomorrow. I am the boss, Jack. Okay? Got me? I can't believe you guys kept this cat. Richie and I, we used to hide stuff from our mom underneath all the cookies. Uh, I'm pretty sure she knew, but I don't think she really cared. <laughs> so are you two guys okay? What? I mean, you and Richie... I mean, before the accident, were you two... Get along okay? What kind of question is that? No, it's just a question. Was he drinking a lot, Mom? More than normal? What? Jack. No, it's just, it's just that Eddie said he didn't see him drink much, and Dorian said he wouldn't drink and drive, so I'm just wondering. Oh, if... Jack, what are you doing? What? Why do you care all of a sudden? Because he's dead? Where were you when he was alive? He was your brother. You disappeared on him, and now he's gone. So what am I supposed to do? Take a trip down memory lane with you? Catch you up on how he's doing? What do you think you're gonna do? Come in here and fix things? You don't fix things, Jack. You break things. Remember? Hello, it's Connie. That's me. Jack, what do you say, Jack? Fucking whitey you to call. Fletcher just ripped me a new asshole. You on your way back, son? No, I want to stay a little while. Oh, come on. Look at Who do you think's taking the heat for you down here? We're partners. Look it up. It'll say if you're screwed, I'm screwed. Now, he wants you here. What do you need, a written invitation? Yeah, I got some things to do. OK, OK, Jack. Here's the truth as I know it. I don't know how much longer I can cover your ass. Are we going to see Fletcher or what? Absolutely. We are flying in. We are there. Guy, you got something to say. What do you want to say? It's time for you to sit down and chop it up with the big dog. Am I stuttering? Because I'm hearing talk, Jack. People are talking. About you. 
than Audrey, and I don't know how much longer I keep that talk from if him. If they're hearing something, they must be hearing it from you, am I right? Oh, you simple bitch, I'm covering your ass. Do you hear me? I'm covering your ass! You better cover your own ass. Where's Brumby's office? No, you listen. I don't want to hear you can't find it. This was supposed to be done. A guy died the other night. Can you hold on a second? Can I help you with something? I'm Jack Carter, Richie's brother. I'll call you right back. Christ. I'm uh, sorry I wasn't at the funeral. I never could take a Would you like some uh, coffee or something? No, I'm fine, thanks. He was a good bloke, Richie was. Saved my ass a lot of money just by doing a solid job. So how long was he running this place for you? Well, since we've been up. About five years. Five years and no problems? None. No enemies? Well, not that I know of. I'm, I mean, he was... Uh, an easy guy and sort of bloke. So does he seem like the kind of guy that would get dead drunk and go out driving in a rainstorm? Not to me. Me either. Where is this going? I think he was taken out. Taken out? Rich. Why would you say that? There's something you're not telling me, Cliff. And what the bloody hell does that mean? Just relax. Listen, I don't like hard cases coming in here and talking to me like I know something. If there's someone out there putting out something about me, then I want to know who the hell it is. And when I know what it is and who's been saying it, I might just take the matter up with you, Jack. Mightn't I? You're a big man. If you're out of shape with me, it's a full-time job, so please, sit down. Thank you. Now, I noticed you've got security cameras around the bar. If the police has to look at the tapes. Why would they? It was drunk driving. Mind if I do? That's got the uh, whole night on. Did you talk to Geraldine? Who's Geraldine? Oh, Christ. How am I going to put this? She was his uh, lady on the side, his enamorata. You know this for sure. What can I tell you? It wasn't a big thing. Not many people knew about it. <laughs> Iris. How you doing? Holy shit. Well, if it ain't the biggest man, but the biggest damn. Geraldine, right? Been a long time. Yeah, Jack's been a very long time. I heard about Richie, man. It's pretty messed up. Yeah. He got my, my deepest condolences and all that shit. I appreciate that. So, still running with Fletcher? Why not? How are you making a living? Well, I'm making. With who? With somebody. Care. I don't care. I just want to know if you're still a bottom feeder. Ah, oh, let me tell you something, Jack. You see all this shit here? You see it? This is the new world, brother. I'm online. These are my girls. My business. Why are you running around chasing dead beasts or some fucking asshole? I'm swimming in the big pool, baby. I got the juice around here now. 
I hooked up with this freak and this foreign guy. Created my own little empire. Look at you. The little man burst the startup. You got a problem with me? Let me tell you something, Jack. I think you should take a, a very big moment and just think about where you are. Because this ain't yesterday, Slick. Relax, I'm just playing with you a little bit. Oh, yeah, I get that. Eve, don't put your hands on me. Come on, let me see your eyes. Come on. Whatever turns you on, Jack. Still pretty? Hmm? Yeah. Like cat piss in the snow. See you around. Mate, where are you going? Oh, is this the part where I'm supposed to be scared? You caught her? That's right. And you really don't want to know me. Afternoon, sir. Are you a member? I'm here with Mr. Franklin. Go right ahead. Stroke. Who the fuck are you? Tiger Woods. I'm gonna go get security, all right? Hey. Can I help you, sir? I don't know. <clears throat> are you from the club? Is, is there a problem? My brother died the other night, and now I'm here. Listen, uh, Mr. Carter. Carter, Mr. Carter. Um, I'm real sorry about your brother. That that uh, sucks, but Jeremy, what's up? I can't help you here. 
So what I suggest you do is contact my outreach program over at the office. Mind if we talk a minute? Uh, yes. Yes, I mind. I was under the impression this was a private club. <laughs> I think we should go someplace and talk. Hey, listen, scary man. I scare you. Okay, whatever this is, it isn't going over real well. Mm. So... Look, I'll tell you what, why don't you drive me back to my car? We can talk on the way. Is that a problem? Yeah, it is a problem. No, no, it's a problem if you don't. Come on. It's okay. Come on. So what's your name? Jeremy Kinnear. Maybe you've read about me in Forbes. No, I don't do that, Jeremy. So what are you telling me, your buck's up? Well, without blowing the proverbial horn, my computer company's worth about a gazillion dollars, give or take. You folks must be very proud. I paid off my student loans, bought them a house in France. They leave me alone. I think we got a mutual acquaintance, Jeremy. Oh, really? Yeah, Cyrus Pace. Yeah, I know him. Try not to spend too much time around him, though. What's the connection, Jeremy? I don't see it. You know, Mr. Carter, I really don't have to answer your questions. Sure you do, Jeremy. What's the connection? Okay, Mr. Carter, fine. You know, um, when you spend most of your life stuck behind a computer, things like golf and girls become pretty important, you know? But they don't go real well with the glasses and pocket protector image my stockholders prefer. So? So he pulls for you. You know why I like golf, Mr. Carter? Because the ball just keeps going away. <laughs> Only sport where you hit that little sucker and it doesn't come back at you. I've got to want to go after it and get it. And when I get to it, I just knock it away again. <laughs> See what I'm saying, Mr. Carter? Once I get rid of it, I never want to see it again. He said his brother died the other night, and now he's here. He's here! You get me? We are fucked! Then you start this porn thing. I just say, keep me clean, but you can't even do that. I don't even want to think what happens if he's already taken that thing to the police. And how do you get it anyway? You're supposed to go straight to the hard drive. You... God, I'm right, I'm freaking out. I'm a fucking Harvard grad. I do not do porn. No, 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 no. Shush, 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 shush. I don't want to know what happened the other night. I don't care. It's none of my business. I just want the big brother gone. And I don't mean gone like you've gone the other guy. I mean away. I want him away. I want you away. I want the whole thing done. I guess. And he wants you to come back and... Oh, God, you listen, I was thinking that uh, when I get back, you and me, we gotta get out of Vegas for good, you know. Jack, I can't do this. 
Do what? You and me. Les Fletcher is my job. It's what I do. You... You're... You're something different. All right, fine. I'm something different. You ought to just get out of there with me or without me, but you ought to get out of there. Hey, Audrey! Audrey! I'm up here! Time another place, huh? Yeah. Bye. You know, I sometimes feel I'm going to be alone for the rest of my life. I wake up in the morning and I. I look over at my little girl, and I wonder when it was we became strangers. She's all I have now, Jack, and I, you know, I want her back so bad, and I don't even know where she went. She won't talk to me, she won't even yell at me. Oh, Who are you? What? I mean, I'm, I'm just trying to make sense of this. Of you. You disappear off the face of the earth for like five years, and then you come back, and you, <laughs> you come back. And you... I don't know. You look like Frank Sinatra or something, and I just can't figure you out. You know, it's not that big a deal, Gloria. You no, know, everything changes. I say, why not me? Try to do something right. Once. Yeah, what is that, though? What's right, Jack? You know, you're too late to be Rich's brother. You can't be Dorian's father. And you can't be my man. So I just don't know where you fit. Maybe I don't. Richard, you know where she lives. A girl? What? Come on. Is that you know Dory much? Uh, yeah, a little. Uh, hey, it's right up here on the left. Sit tight, I'll be right back. Relax, everything's okay. How you doing? I'm looking for Geraldine. You know where she is? Was he to you? I told you. I met him at the bar. He was just a guy I met. That's all. 
That's all. He was nicer than most. Did you know he was married? Look. Did you know that? What do you want? I talked to him, okay? It's not a crime. I gotta be somewhere. I wanna know what happens. She wanted me to leave with him. He and his wife weren't getting along so well. Hardly spoke, you know? They were gonna get divorced. He wanted me to run away someplace like New York or something. I said I couldn't do that, you know? I got my own life here. I went to the bar to say goodbye, and he followed me out. And he makes this big scene outside the bar. I hear he got pretty drunk. Look, I don't want to talk about this anymore. are in it. Carter! Looks like the rain must have backed up the sewer. How you been, man? Still hanging around here on Thorpe. I like it here. I gotta have a word with you, all right? And uh, it's confidential. Well, you just stay in the car. I'll listen. So what do you want to tell me? How you been, man? I mean, you look good. Well, thank you. I'm losing sleep here, so what do you want? Here, take this. It's free. Alaska Airlines, first class. It's nice. And who do I have to thank? I've been asked to make sure you get on that plane. Tonight. <laughs> Whatever they're paying you, it ain't gonna be enough. <laughs> What do you want to do, boy? What do you want? Come on, cowboy. You want to get a rep? Come on. Take your best chance. Get a rep. Come on. Come on, shoot him. You got the stuff? You got the ball? Down, Come on, man. you got the guts. What's he do? Come on, go on. Put it down. Put it down. There is no dishonor in avoiding confrontation. When dealing with an armed man, the best course of action is to run. Run.
months, hey, Beauty. The ride's over. The ticket because you used to hang around with my brother a little bit. I swear. I knew you wouldn't go for it. Who sent you? I can't tell you that. You I can't don't... tell me? Did you have something to do with my brother? I had nothing to do with your brother, Richie. Then give me a name or your history. The Bromby's in the back. Travel agent. What? That was a real nice touch sending Thorpey. Very nostalgic. What the hell are you talking about? What would she have on you? Bloody hell, Jack. Richie was my friend. What, what does it take? A fucking miracle for you to believe that? You're not giving me anything here. Uh, Jack, 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 Jack. Stop that. Stop it, for fuck's sake. Look, I, OK, I, I, I owe this bloke uh, some money. He, fronted a truckload last year to extend the club. He calls me th this afternoon and says, you wipe the slate clean if I'll do this uh, thing for him. He said he, he wanted you out of town. That, that, that's all. He, he didn't say how, just out of town. Your, your brother was my friend, Jack. I, I wouldn't hurt him. Yeah. Give me a name. Or this is going to another level. Cyrus Pace. You want me up? Huh? You want me up? You want to do this, huh? You want to do this? Rabbit's out of the hat, Jack. Let's see if it jumps. What'd you do to Richie? God damn you, I didn't do nothing. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but you're chasing your ass. You were gone too long, brother. Shit changes. Maybe not you, but some shit does change. Your brother, your precious brother, Richie, was no goddamn saint. Everybody's into something, Jack, plain and simple, all right? There's no mystery, no intrigue. He got juiced up one night. He got oiled up, and he wrapped his sorry ass around a tree. End of story. Now, if you want to do this little dance here for old time's sake, Jack, bring it. Let me tell you something, Jack. You're going to end up like a one-legged man in an ass-kicking contest. I'm tired of your bullshit, Jack. I'm a businessman. I got ladies waiting for me on the inside. Grow up, Jack. Jack. I didn't think you were going to show up. He's in the neighborhood, you know? Listen, Dorian, I'm having one of those like, year-long nights. I don't know if I'd be that much fun to be around. Maybe we ought to take a rain check on this. OK? OK. Right. Bye. I'll give you a call tomorrow. Doreen. You hungry? Little. You drink coffee? Mm. Yep. I smoke too. I don't know if that's worth bragging about, do you? No, you smoke. Well, I did, but I just recently quit. Oh, yeah, when? All I'd say about now. So, if you don't mind. Makes you nuts, doesn't it? It's having an impact, yes. You are so freaky. 
Well, we're all a little freaky, Doreen. It's those straight ones we gotta worry about. So, what do you do, like, for work? What'd your father tell you? He didn't. That's good. Mom said you were a gambler. Isn't that illegal? Were you a bookie? Bookie? No, more like, um, more like a financial adjuster. So, you ever been to prison? For how long? How about this weather? Come on. What do you say we change the subject? You ever shoot anybody? <laughs> you want to know what I do for a living? Simple people make promises and they break them. My job is to refresh their memories. That's about it. No big deal. What's with the clothes? What's with the jewelry in your face? <laughs> you don't like it. It's nice. You ever been married? I don't think so. So you don't have a family of your own? What are you? Why'd you leave? Well, Doreen, that's a long, long story. It's a long, long ride. <laughs> Let's put it this way. Did you ever want to take every mirror in the world and get rid of it because you didn't like what was coming back at you? Yeah. I wish my dad was here. Do you, um, do you really think somebody killed him? Yeah, I think so, but... Me too. Yet? Yep. Oh, what did you like learn that in school? Dad taught me. Oh, yeah? Dorian, would you wait in the car? Why? Please, it's all right. Why? Please, please wait in the car. I'll be right back. It's okay. It's okay. Stay with me tonight, okay? Lori, why don't we get out here? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. I need to talk. 
talk to your Uncle Jeff. coming over. We're going to go over to her place tonight, and we're going to stay there. Listen, I, I know that you want to help, but just look around you. You know, look what you brought into my house. Look at my face. Look at my family. You're not helping, Jack. So please go. What do you mean? What, are you, what did you say? I brought in... I didn't bring anything that is... I think Gloria, so. look, I just want to know the truth. What the hell was Richie into? Oh, God. That's right. Oh. Whatever this costs, I'll just take care of it. Oh. Yeah, I think maybe you and Gloria want to get out of town for a while, take a vacation. I'll take care no, of that too. Maybe, no, maybe you shouldn't fine. be. A... Just, we're fine. We're fine. Let's go. Oh. I'm sorry. snuck out to the cab. Jeremy's house smells funny. Do you want to come in? Nice tattoos. I'll bring her by in the morning. Yeah, I promise. All right. Good night. Sorry, I do you to call her? Ah, uh, that's not mine. She cares about you. She loves you. That's, that's pretty special. You got know, one mother, right? It's a real scary place out there, so I, I don't blame her. You must be a little tired. I tell you what, why don't you take the bed? I got a lot of work to do in the other room, and, uh, Take you home in the morning, okay? It's gonna be all right, really. coming for you. Bet you didn't know you had a fairy godmother, Jack. You gave my brother a disc what was on it. Fairy godmother all of your own. Don't play me, Geraldine, all right? No more games. No more dress up, you understand? You gave my brother a disc what was on it. I don't know what. You don't 
20 or something, if you lie to me, I'm gonna break every, listen to me, I wanna break every beautiful bone in your body. I'm not lying to you. I'm just here because he wanted to see you. Who? The Demon King. He wanted to speak to you, so he made some calls and he waved his magic wand and poof. Day you had, huh, Mr. Carter? <clears throat> Sorry to get you up so early. Personally, I hate mornings. Where are you going? Uh, she's done her job. She doesn't need to hear this. Oh. Don't worry about Jimmy. He's, um, he's more here for decoration. Hey, you want a cappuccino or something? He makes a really mean froth. I use non fat milk. Thanks. But I'm lactose intolerant. What? Um, Jimmy, could, could, could you show our friend down to her car? Thanks. Cute guy. You think? No. I had my 30th birthday last month. I'm worth about $900 million. I'm in Newsweek and Forbes in the same fucking month. I'm the all-powerful ruler of time and space, Mr. Carter. And your friend, Cyrus? The porn guy? He's coming to me with threats of going public. Messing up my image. Understand there was quite a fuss the other night over to George. Everybody was shitting bricks, especially Cyrus. Your brother Richard's name was mentioned. Cyrus goes out with some very bad guys. And when he comes back, your brother's gone. You see what I'm saying, Mr. Carter? I think we both want the same thing. Who do you think you're fucking with? Come on, come on. What do I fucking want? Talk. I said talk. Jack. Tell him. Tell him! Khan tells me you're doing my woman behind my back. Now tell me Khan's lying. Tell me that, Jack. He is lying. I mean, Jack, all of a sudden? I love this woman, Jack, and I'm thinking about killing her. I don't even like you, Carter, so you don't want to know what I'm thinking about doing to you. You're a real tough guy on the phone. 
Audrey, you gotta get out of there. Go on. He won't touch you. Well, I won't touch her, huh? I won't touch her. Jack, please. If listen. you don't fucking shut up! I'm telling you, Carter. I'm two seconds away from fucking pasting this broad. Now, get your ass back into town Lush. tonight, or you're both gonna be so you fucking... You lay a hand on her, and I swear to Christ, I will come back there, and I'll bury you alive. Well, let me tell you something, Carter. I finished with you, you're gonna fucking wish I killed you. Audrey, what do you want to do? I'm here for you. Jesus, Jack, are you fucking pathetic? Go ahead, tell him, Audrey. What do you want to do? Audrey, what do you want to... What do you want to do? You listening, lover boy? Yeah. You getting it? Les, listen to me. I'm out of Vegas, understand? It ends here. Fuck you. It ends when I say it ends, you cocksucker.
Jack, what do you say, Jack? You pick me a winner today, huh? To come up with a sure thing? It's a bad time, Con. Boy, you're telling me. Remember Peter, don't you? Say, Jack, when I said you take care of the business or the business will take care of you, did we have a bad connection on the cell? Maybe you weren't listening? Oh, fuck it, it doesn't matter, does it? Hey, Sport, I was real sorry to hear about you and Audrey. What are you gonna do? He's the big dog, there's no way around that. He gets the girl, Jack. You get what you get. I saw that. God. What happened to your face? A couple guys jumped me on the elevator on the way up. Really? No, I... No, I, I slipped, you know. It happens sometimes when you get older, you know. Ticket for your Mustang, you know. I got it downstairs. We probably should be getting back now. What are you gonna do? Well, you know, I'm gonna be taking him off today. Why? Yeah. It just worked out that way. For good? For a while. Before I go, I just, I just want to tell you, I think you're a special girl. I mean that. And in these 48 hours, I can see that. Hey. Things happen to us, Doreen. You know, we, we make mistakes. We, we fall down. And, we get into trouble. It happens to everybody. It does. But it doesn't mean, you know, everything that happened yesterday has to happen every day. It doesn't. 
<laughs> you don't want to do it like me and spend your whole life looking backwards. You know what it is what it is. We, we can't change your history. We can't do that. I mean, but you, you can go past it. Just right past it. You know, you know up ahead, it's all new. You know, it, it's, it's, it's new. It's, it's yours if you want it. Just, I gotta tell you, then your mother loves you. No matter what you think, she loves you. Maybe you got things you have to talk to her about, or some problems, whatever. You should talk to her, she'll listen. with dad, he was always really nice. I thought I, um, I, I thought I, I mean, I thought it was gonna be cool. Fun, you know? We, uh, had some, we had some champagne and, uh, he asked if I wanted to go to this party. She see my friends' faces. I don't even remember what happened. I just remember not being able to move much. I remember um, wanting to leave, wanting to stop, wanting to go home. None of this is your fault. You gotta believe that. No, 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 no. None of this is your fault. None of it. Yeah. Jack? Who is this? It's Geraldine. Look, I didn't know she was Richie's daughter. When I found out who she was, I got the disc to Richie right away. I didn't know what he'd do with it. He went to them, and he said he was taking the disc to the cops. Cyrus knows I gave him the disc. He's on his way here. He's coming over now, Jack. I didn't know who to call. I was just... Shit, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Where's Eddie? He's not working today. Where's he live? Well, what's going on? Where's he live? Jack, Jack, Jack. Will, will you listen to me for just a minute? I've been in it all my life on, on both sides of the ocean. And, and I'm telling you this, if you get mixed up in whatever it was your brother was into, you've got a pretty good chance of winding up exactly the same as he did. And those two ladies are gonna have to go into mourning all over again. Now, I can't tell you what to do, but I can tell you this. Getting yourself killed won't bring Richie back. Revenge doesn't work. Sure it does. What? They knew what they were fucking getting into. Don't play me. I thought it was Cyrus's deal, man. 
He probably killed your brother, right? It wasn't fucking me. He's at a fucking party right now at some fucking fancy club or something with Cornelia, right? I was just fucking playing. Around. I was just fucking playing around. Go get them. Man. I don't. I'm having a real hard time understanding something, Eddie. What could she have done to you that was so bad that you'd want to do this to her? Hmm? Because what you did doesn't go away. She trusted you. And you raped her. She was my brother's daughter, my family. And it's my fault. Because if I had been here, this never would have gone down. So now I got to make it right. I got to do that. I mean, what would you do if it was your daughter? Jack, don't kill me, man. You killed yourself.
story, Mr. Carson. You don't know list. Nobody likes the list guy.
finish where you start. Yeah. Hey, you should have fixed your tie a little bit there. Have a good time. Good. Where are we going, Mr. Carter? Hey. Hey, slow down! Turn the lights back on, please. Come on. Come on, Come on Mike. Go, huh? I didn't do it. Will you slow down, please? You're gonna kill us. Please! Okay, okay, what do you want, Mr. Carter? You want a clean slate? Uh, just, just give me five minutes in front of a laptop. Please slow down, you're gonna kill us! What's the point, Jeremy? Your price. I've got more money than God. You need a drink. It's okay. It's all right, Jeremy. Is this how you did it to Richie? Huh? Is this how you did it, Jeremy? Huh? You think he screamed too? You like it? I didn't huh? kill your brother, Mr. Carter. Get up. Mr. Carter, this is... Get up. You're making a mistake. Move. Please, listen to me. You're making a mistake here. Cyrus told me that your brother was going to go to the police with his disc. And, uh, and, uh, he said if he went down, I'd go down. Okay? And, please. I didn't know what to do, Mr. Carter. So you had him killed? No! No, no! I just said to him to get the disc back. That's all. I swear to you, I had nothing to do with it. I swear to you, I just told Cyrus to go and get the disc. I told him to get the disc and that our business together would be over. That's all. That's all. Mr. Carter, I swear to you! I swear to you, I didn't do anything. I didn't kill him, Mr. Carter. Please believe me. He said if I said anything, he would ruin me. And then you came along. You came along and... Please, Mr. Carter. Please, it was Tyrus. He killed your brother and Geraldine, not me. He said he was working with some guy. It was them. They did it. No more talking. <laughs> Turn around. Please don't know. Turn around. Don't know. Don't know. <laughs> You're mad for once in your life. Do something for you. Nobody ever did for me. 
I want to give you a second chance. Please don't let me come back. No. I want Mr. Carter. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I promise I won't make you come. Thank you. Hey, what are you doing? Sorry, Jack. I don't usually uh, get my hands dirty, but I checked your room, and there was nothing there. So, uh, listen, about this uh, Doreen thing. She'll be all right, I think. Kids are resilient, you know. And uh, this thing with Richie, I mean, Christ, that was bloody awful. I don't know what Cyrus was thinking, but a man's got to make a living. I tried to keep you out of it, but you insisted on this post-facto big brother thing. So I figured if I left enough dangling, you would find my disc for me. What a mess, eh? all over a shiny piece of plastic. Listen. I'll get rid of the disc. You seem to have got rid of everything else, so... You may have hardware concealed about your person. But remember, you kill me, you'll be on the run for the rest of your life. Been nice knowing you, Jack. Brumby. I'm not turning round. See yourself. Uncle Jack. Your mother told me I'd find you here. Thought you were gone. I am gone. I just wanted to come by. And say goodbye to you face to face. What uh, happened to your beard thing? Well, uh, well I uh, thought it would be time for a change. I just want to get rid of it. Did you fall again? Yes. Yeah, I did. I fell down. I gotta get new shoes. We're gonna be okay, you know. Mom and me. I know. Thanks for being here. It would have meant a lot to Dad, you know? He's a good man. You gotta go, huh? Yeah. Do you remember when I said you're special? You better remember that or you're gonna have a big problem with me, okay? I like the new look. 